Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to the October edition of Chamber Chat, and welcome to my co-host, Jen Sherwood. Hey, Jen. Good morning. Oh, always so smiling. You know, I was in Walmart the other day, and somebody's like, I just, you know, I love Chamber Chat. And I said, really? They go, yeah, but we really love that, that one that laughs all the time. I went, me? He goes, no. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. Are you sure it wasn't me? No, yeah. no yeah. one you. So, so anyway, so I'm I was, sure. So I was in the bank line one time, and, and a guy <laughs> said, I, I was, you know, like two behind, and the guy was kind of still fiddling with his wallet after one person, and then I was up next, and I said hello, and he turned Turned around and and we were at the moment <laughs> laughing and he said you're the lady on the radio and I'm like you are the one starved for entertainment. <laughs> there is a fan base. I get it all the time. Oh, well, we you thank know. everyone oh. for tuning in. We are so delighted to be here and be able to share the fun and exciting things happening in October. We're all about the good news. Yep. And you know, okay, so usually Kathy Hendrickson, she's like further down in the program because we use her. She she organizes. <laughs> it looks like everything runs smooth. It's because she's. Doing Doing it. Right. So this morning she said, she said, Suzanne, she said, I got to go pretty quick because uh, I got somewhere else to be. But you know what? Who just walked in? Tisha Puckett Pryor. And she said, I, I've got to be before Kathy. So here she walked in. <laughs> <laughs> She made it there. Come, look at come on in. Come on in, Tisha. Have a seat. Tell yeah. us all about what's we were happening. Planning. We were like, we were walking out, <laughs> watching the corner of our eyes. So, so we'll get you first, Tisha, because we know you got to be somewhere uh, also really quick. But it's so important to talk about the Habitat for Humanities Chili Cook-Off and Bake Sale. It is. And you're, you're our face of that, <laughs> our beautiful face. Well, we are very excited. It's coming up. Yeah. yeah. Weeks and this this nice October weather we're oh, having. Oh, we're having reminds us of how lovely, you know, lovely chili yeah, is. It's time for chili. So we have eight or nine teams confirmed, and then we've got four or five that have verbally committed but haven't sent us their forms. You've got some brand so new Why is she looking year? at me? We do have some new <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know the Cap Prevention Coalition, they're like, we want to do it this year. What yeah. do we do? And I yeah, said, Middle Tennessee well, Natural I, Gas I is I doing it. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, but anyway, you can call my office, and my assistant is back from vacation, so things are much better. <laughs> and uh, we can get you a form if you need it, 597-7370. Um, also, you have them too, don't you, Suzanne? I don't think I do, but I think you can get them on. Is there a click on Facebook? No. There's not. Okay, no, never mind. I'm gonna Forget email, that. Yeah. I'm going to email you a okay. form, though. So right. we, we have one the on chamber. the bulletin board. We, we got one the on the bulletin board. The chamber will have one also. I will email one to yes. Suzanne's office. So if you've never been to the chili cook off, it's from 10 30 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Friday, October 28th. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> that's We're hoping, uh, and, and that's what I've got. If you're a newbie, just keep yeah. in mind that uh, shifting closer to the 10.30 time yes. rather than the 1 o'clock time yeah, is, yeah. is a good idea because you want some uh, chili. if you want some chili. Now, if you're just coming to you know drop Socialize. off a check, yeah. that's perfectly fine. Yes. Come anytime. <laughs> yes. And I am so sorry I did not bring a mug. I don't have one. Oh, okay. uh, but we have commemorative mugs this year. Uh, back this year, we had we didn't have them, of course, during COVID, and last year we didn't have them. So they're the, they're called a fireside mug. They're similar to the one that was kind of a beige color a few years ago, mm -hmm. but a really great mug for soup or coffee uh, that has the logo on it, and it is orange. Oh, oh yay! yay. So very festive. Um, for a donation of twenty five dollars, you get the mug, um, all the chili that you want to eat, and you also get a drink, and you're supporting Habitat for Humanity. So, oh. which it, which is on the move, kind of. Yes. Tell us a little bit about what's happened and what Habitat is up to. Well, I don't know that I'm at liberty to say yet. Okay, oh, but. We are we are doing a lot of exciting things, yeah. and, and we're going to be announcing that very soon. Okay. Um, some new partnerships, and just we are we are building next year, and are going to start taking applications very soon too. So this there are a lot of things in the works, and we're going to do a big interview with Dwayne and let everybody know. But know that we are alive and well, and a house will be built next year. Yeah. I gotta yeah. say, you know, the chili cook-off, something about it is like the funnest festival. Yeah. It's so much, it just, you feel the energy, everybody's so excited, so much community people involved. The booths are always, like, decorated so fun that <laughs> yes. each one is different, and it, you really do feel like you're just kind of seeing a festival going on. Where you're yes. eating and you're visiting with people to sign Yeah, yeah. It's Perfect awesome. combo. And you're and, a good And you, you know, don't have to buy the 
$25 commemorative mug to participate. It's it's for donations. Um, certainly, the more the better. Yeah. But uh, we <laughs> we take donations, and then you get chili and a drink. And we also have a bake sale, so don't forget about that. Um, you can buy pie or cake or cookies or whatever, and and we're looking for people to uh, donate baked goods for that. So um, we probably, hopefully, have contacted some churches already. We have a lot of churches that that do a great job of promoting that and encouraging their members to bring us things. Oh, I bet we can talk to Lisa Cripps about that. Oh, oh she makes so anybody, yeah, 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 anybody that enjoys baking, yeah. we'll take it. Just have it on site by 10, 1030. And um, if it's individual, it, it, in individual portions, it needs to be individually wrapped, right? Yes, yeah. yes, that would help us. And then we'll price it all. So um, we're excited and we're we're hoping to you know, we should hopefully be outside. Hasn't rained in a very long time. <laughs> I don't know if it the will gardeners, rain, the gardeners know how long. Uh, yes, <laughs> but uh, but we are hoping to configure the booth so that everybody will be uh, sort of in a square. We're working with the electric company on that. Oh, so hmm. yeah. so it's going to be a great day. Yes, and we hope to have a record record participation. Oh. I mean, I would say we will have at least 15 teams. That's my guess. And we'll take sure. more. Oh, well, oh, we're so, so excited. Yeah. The Thank rain location is the county complex, and we will make that call by Wednesday of that week. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're praying for great weather, yeah. teacher. Yes, yes. Oh. Well, thank you so much, thank and we you. hope you have the best event ever. I can't wait to be there. And I'm sure Skinny Steve will make an appearance All this right. year. Oh, yeah. Skinny Steve, he needs some chili. I've been, I have been getting some phone calls saying, are you bringing Skinny Steve out this right. year? Right. We so, love you, Suzanne, but I'm where's like, Skinny Steve? I'm like, I have nothing else to do but go around with this he skeleton. He should be with us today. Oh, yeah. oh what was I thinking? What oh, were we my thinking? Word. Oh, man. Oh, he's poor Skinny be, Steve. He's probably sulking back at the yeah, office. I know. Yeah. He's probably crying. He's in the closet okay. somewhere. Now, you know, I think we've already introduced Kathy. Did you get it? He's morning. in a closet oh, somewhere, I'm like petty. skeletons in the closet. <laughs> I'm oh, I'm so, so, so sorry. Bad. Oh, so bad. Oh, oh, I'm really good. I'll get tough the crowd. All right, Jen. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Stand up okay. comedy. Okay. So, Kathy Hendrickson with the Justin Potter Library, well, and Alexander Library, and libraries all across the Camp County, which is just the two. That's the two, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's all right. They're that two that fabulous. Is, that's, that's all I can handle right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, what, what you got going well, on? Well, right now, uh, we are going to, and they're going to be talking about it a little bit later in the program, but the uh, downtown Boobash will be coming up October 31st on Halloween, mm -hmm. and from 12 to 5, and of course, the library will be participating. So, we, want, we encourage all the little you know, witches and monsters and super, superheroes. You know, the parents get into it too. They dress up and they look so cute. So Kathy, y'all have been uh, really close to winning the whole shebang plenty of years. You've like come in first place well, instead of, I mean, second place. So what are you doing this year? Have you got an idea? It. Oh, it's I, a secret. Well, we're gonna, I'm, uh, well, it's probably gonna be Alice in Wonderland. We're, oh. we're shooting for that. I don't know, I'm gonna be the rabbit or something. I don't know what it is. Oh, I can I see I gotta get that. some bunny ears though, okay. So yeah. anyway. I, <laughs> Hey, Wendy's looking for some butter. All right, for me, so, but, Jen, so. if you want to help me uh, judge this year, I mean, they've been uh -huh. awful close for several years. Uh -huh. They like, and but there's so many yeah. good ones in mm -hmm. there. Yeah. Oh, and they do ones. the backdrops. You know, I don't. We don't get into the yeah. backdrops as much, but yeah. some of them just really go really elaborate. So it's really it cool. is fun. To it's see. hard. It's a, it it's, a, it's a tough competition. It so. is very tough. But we just enjoy. The staff loves dressing up and doing these things. So they, they it's their their big idea. So uh, we just we go with it. <laughs> you're just the boss, man. I, I, just, I, just, I just go with the flow. They say, All right, I'll no. find some bunny ears. Uh, you're gonna be a witch. You're gonna be this. Okay, just find me a costume and, I, and, we're, and we'll go with it. You know. But they enjoy. So and and you know we're all just kids at heart anyway. So, uh, but we will be having candy and we will have a little goodie to go with the candy to, uh, to give out too this year. So we always have fun. So yeah. hopefully the weather cooperates and you know it just gives the kids an opportunity to get out with their parents and just have a safe Halloween. Yeah, you yeah. Know, safe Halloween. That's what we want. Um, and then last night was our first Dungeons and Dragons club. How'd it go? And, well, I just got an email uh, text this morning and. Two of my staff members, Sydney Garmer and uh, Alan Crotty, they, they are. It was their brainchild, you know. They're gamers and things like that. And so they said, "Hey, let's have something for teens. We want to get teens, you know, back in the library again." And so we had ten sign up right at the oh. last minute. I mean, you know, and they were the kids were enthused and the parents were enthused. And so they said it went great last night. They oh. they 
created their characters last night. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And so, and they had some, we want to thank the volunteers. We had some adult volunteers uh, that came in and helped do some one-on-one -on -one with the kids. And so it'll be the first Tuesday, uh, first Tuesday of the month from 4.30 to 6.30. And uh, Miss Jan Thomas, she furnished the snacks last night for the kids. She wanted to volunteer and do that. And so, uh, but they had a wonderful time. And anybody, we've even had some adults uh, that are enthused about maybe doing an adult Dungeons and Dragons. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so uh, if anybody's interested, just give us a call and we'll see what, you know, what transpires from right. there. That's so fun. Yeah, so, so anytime that you want to find anything that's going on with the library, you can call uh, 615-597-4359 or we have our Facebook or we have our website at thecablibraries.net so we want to like I say we want to we want to keep this going it's thir ages 13 to 18 if we get enough interest we have 10 in the already so that's our limit for what we can have it at the library but if we get more interest then we can have a maybe a second one you know if we have enough another 10 kids that want to you know maybe these kids that have friends so um, anyway, give us a call and we'll see what we can People work out. People who play D&D &D don't have friends. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm, it's just a joke. Okay. It's, 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 kind of a, it's kind of a math, math centric kind of, you know, well, require, requires a lot of thought to play the game. Well, so it's, a, it's good. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. <laughs> be able to think. I, I couldn't do that because I don't think very well sometimes. But anyway, we're, we're I thankful. didn't mean that as a negative to anybody. It just yeah. is that kind of game. Yeah, well, it is it that kind of game. It's a thought process. Yep, it's yeah. a thinking game. Well, we, we appreciate the kids that, that want to participate and we hope it it goes on. I'm and glad they, it went so funny. well. Yeah. Yeah. Ten, I'm glad. I failed yeah. the class. I'm yep. glad. That's great. All right, thank y'all. All right, well, go do your training now, All Kathy. Right. <laughs> we'll see y'all later if I can get out of these cords here. Well, you know, we're going to jump down to our new, mem uh, our new members, which I love. Yes. We usually do we it We love announcing it. But, you know, and I've got to get out there with uh, with Debbie Sheets at, at Twisted Oaks. You don't have to twist my arm to go there because the food is fabulous. No oh. pun intended. Twisting your arm I know, to go that to was Twisted good, Oaks. Right? Yeah, that was good. Everybody already knows this, but they're at 3349 Nashville Highway. It says Dabbletown, but it really feels like Smithfield because yeah. right across from Burt Driver, the Burlap Room, yeah. that way. The, the shell, the DeKalb Market. Yeah, there. DeKalb Market. Mm -hmm. And uh, just go out there and try that fabulous food. I love to go at lunchtime. Oh my goodness, the last time I went, I got a burger. It was fantastic. When I went with you, Jim, we got I got shrimp and grits. That was also great. And so anyway, I don't think they've got anything that wouldn't nope, be nothing tasty. Is, you, you, you can't go wrong. 615-318-1290 is their phone number. And they also post a lot on Facebook too. Oh, so if you're on day. Facebook, you can you can see what their specials are, and they they keep up with um, keeping up with their customers. So. And some of my good. favorite people in the world, the Cab Prevention Coalition. Yes. They're just, I mean, the director, Jennifer Matthews, and her faithful assistant, Lisa Cripps. They are the <laughs> best neighbors at the chamber. They're yep. like in the office next door to me. I love that. We're, we have the best time there. And they actually, they, they work really hard, though. I mean, they're fun people, but they work to reduce dependence on harmful substances such as prescription drugs, alcohol, tobacco. And they know your life can be so much better without, you know, abusing those things. So anyway, they just want the DeKalb County people to live a safe, healthy, productive, drug-free life. Absolutely, and they do uh, great outreach, lots of education programs, uh, lots of fundraising to actually help one-on-one -on -one yeah. with, with the activities that, that they feel, you know, as a mission, that they are really working hard to um, to get to Cab County healthy. Yeah. And uh, and I just wanted to say a shout out also. I did as far as uh, safety, all employee safety meetings. Uh -huh. I uh, was doing distracted driving and safe driving, and I borrowed their their oh. their their uh, drinking glo goggles, goggles. Yeah, their cannabis goggles <laughs> and their uh, you know their alcohol drag <laughs> goggles. I can't even which say I was a like. little concerned because I'm not going <laughs> to name the employee, but he put the goggles on. And he goes, oh, this isn't like drunk driving, <gasps> and I was. Oh. <laughs> this is not what you need to be admitting to the no. safety person, but... <laughs> 
<laughs> but uh, I do want to say a big shout out that I, I really appreciate them being willing to be outreach, even as an extension of, of not, they didn't do it, but they loaned it to me. So I really appreciate oh, that. Oh, they're, they're awesome. They're terrific. Uh, and they'll help you any way they can. And speaking of helper. Yes. From a Kids Express Therapy, Miss Alyssa Conger is here this morning. And Alyssa, her Kids Express Therapy has just moved to a brand new, larger location. I love it when her businesses grow. Yes. To the point they have to get a whole new space. Good morning, Miss Alyssa. Good morning. That's what Levi calls her, my little grand son he loves miss Alyssa. yeah i told i told Alyssa. i'm not sure if levi loves me or her better it's i'm a little insecure about well, it well it's almost like a, a state a, a state miss Alyssa, <laughs> like right next to mississippi <laughs> it's fun to say well, you're just full of it this morning oh, you? sorry <laughs> sorry not sorry okay okay so Alyssa, let's talk about your new location first what's okay. it what's the address it is 612 south congress boulevard suite c we're actually in dr duke's old office so and if you, you know don't that. know that it's right next to webb's pharmacy and yep. soda shop yep. and it's so easy to find the parking is great and you just walk right down the sidewalk come right in the front door and you've got some fabulous new offices for all your different um, therapists and I services do. yeah because i've really grown um, this past year i now i have physical therapy occupational therapy and speech therapy and feeding therapy so wow. we have almost everything almost. i need non-feeding therapy <laughs> I'm like starving <laughs> since the weather changed. Yeah. I, I just cannot get full, and that's not my normal self. So, anyway, well, let's make We're get, getting back, ready for hibernation. Back to you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I could use some hibernation. I'm exhausted. Okay. <laughs> back to you, Alyssa. <laughs> so, you had an open house on Monday. We did. We and did. so, your grand open, your, your, up and running. We're up and running. We've been, we've been there since August, and we still have a few cosmetic things that we want to change. But um, but we're in, and we're we're seeing patients. So, and the place is such a happy place. It's got bright colors. The children are going to love every space. Every room is either bright yellow or uh, pretty blue. It's so nice. Yeah, nice and happy. We like happy. Yeah, <laughs> we like happy kids. <laughs> and and we were talking about you know if if you need this uh, service any of these services that you don't have to go out of town and you don't just go to you because it's convenient but because you have great staff. We mm -hmm. really do. We have wonderful staff. Yeah. Our our occupational therapist has thirty years of experience wow. and our. Uh, our uh, physical therapist, as you guys may know, is Casey Ag, and she has several years of experience. And I don't want to make her sound old because she's not, <laughs> um, but she has several years of experience. And we have we we just have a really good, um, even like our administrative everything. I feel like when you call, you're going to get happy people, and you're going to get happy services, and you're going to have you can have quality services. So, are you mostly do you mostly work on referral or if someone is curious about what services you provide, can they just call you? They can always call. And if they want to file through insurance, we do have to have a doctor's referral for that, mm -hmm. but they can always call and we can help them with that process. And what's that number? It's 615-697-3442. Thank you so much. Well, and congratulations for your expansion. Yes, it's and I know exciting. my daughter Beth, you know, she's in, she has to research everything. And when she was looking for somebody to help our little autistic grandson, Levi, she was like, Who, who's the best, who's the best? And Miss Alyssa's name kept coming up. So yeah. that is why you were chosen, not because you were local, but because you were the best. And we're just I so grateful. so much. Well, I love Levi. So. <laughs> I love your family. <laughs> Unfortunately, he loves you too. My yeah, baby. right. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I ought to paint some rooms yellow. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I should. Thank you, Eliza. Thank you so Thanks. much. Okay, where are we now? Oh, oh. now we're going to skip this a minute because we're going to okay. do that at the end. How okay. about that? We're going to talk. Oh, before we talk to Brother Chad here, we got a DeKalb Middle School event coming up, Jim. Oh, I see. You see that? Because it's a uh, fabulous chilly weather time. Uh -huh. um, oh, I'm hungry just thinking about I that. I know, October uh -huh. 7th, which is this mm. Friday from 5 to 7 p.m., the uh, DeKalb Middle School is having their annual mm. chili supper and fundraiser. And uh, there'll be a silent auction, cakewalk, raffle, cash prizes, much, much more. The cost is a $10, $10 donation. And, um, and again, it's uh, this Friday, the 7th, from 
5 to 7 p.m. at DeKalb Middle School. Oh, I bet that'll be fun. Yeah. And tasty. <laughs> okay, from the Smithfield First Baptist Church, not only is the pastor here, but one of my favorite chamber board members. Got to be careful about Brother that. Brother Chet. Well, one, got, one of got 15. Like 15. Of her yeah. favorite. No, we <laughs> actually, past president council, 16. Oh, one of 16. You I don't know. Know. I'm, a, I'm a little worried sitting over here. I don't know what was in Jen's coffee this morning. She's very oh, spry man. this morning. No, she is spry. Yeah, so. no and coffee. she got here early this morning. No coffee. Usually wow. we're like You're starting the show just, and we're going just, gentlemen yeah, here. Ask my husband. The mornings are not happy. He, he's always said, you know, I don't have anything against mornings. I just don't want to be up for them. <laughs> I, I'm and in agreement. Yeah. Yes. Right. Okay. Yeah. Not me. Yeah. Right. So, and yeah. back to you, yes. Brother Chad. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I just keep my distance there. So maybe it's contagious. I don't know. <laughs> he still hasn't been to Button Willow this morning, probably. Uh, I had a coffee. Though, oh, have you? Yes. Have you? I haven't been to Button Willow. Okay. So what's going on? Uh, you, we've got lots going on. I happen to know because we had a meeting yesterday. Yes. But, but, but you've got a fall. A we do have a, a fall, uh, our fall um, festival. <laughs> um, uh, we do every year. It's in our gym. So rain or shine, it's, it's on Halloween. So it's going to be that mm -hmm. Monday on Halloween. We, we start right when the Boo Bash ends. So it's like a, oh. we're... We're the after You're party the after of party. Halloween, yeah. so after if you will. Party. So yeah, we <laughs> have, uh, we're going to get in trouble. Uh, oh, yeah. we, we have uh, hot dogs. We have um, food uh, for everybody who comes. Uh, we give that all away. Um, there's inflatables. There's games. There's, oh and, of gosh. course, there's candy. And yeah, so yeah. what I like about it, it's all indoors. So rain or shine, so no matter what, uh, we will be there. We'll be open for all the whole community to come out. We usually have several, several. I think we had five to, oh, we had more than that, about 800 or so last year. Awesome. So anybody can come. They bring their costumes. There's places to sit. Um, it's indoors, so you don't have to worry about the weather outside. And we, we do things outside if the weather permits. So, mm -hmm. But we try, to, we try to make sure there is something for the kids. And what I like about it, it's safe. Uh, you know, it's family, it's family values. Uh, but it's also something you can know you can trust what you're going to get and you can trust you're going to be there but we've been doing this for many years and mm -hmm. uh, it's a great outreach event that we do so uh, so Halloween 5 to 7 at our in our gym love to have everybody how so, exciting yeah. is that yes so yes <laughs> And, you know, I love having you as a partner with the chamber because, you know, I, this year we talked about the chamber prayer breakfast and you said, you know, let's work together on that because I'm a little overstressed right now. <laughs> There's a lot going on. In <laughs> There's the a lot going community on. and with the chamber in particular. <laughs> and so anyway, I'm just so grateful that we're partnering together. Yes. And let's talk, talk about that a little bit. Yeah, very excited about that. Uh, so the prayer breakfast yes. is one of my favorite chamber oh, yeah. and community it's events. Event. It Great kicks event. off the holiday season, but not only that, it's um, it's just a terrific community event. It's an opportunity. Many of us pray, pray individually, yes. and this is just an opportunity for us to to feel that sense of community spirit. Absolutely, it, we're going to host it at our in our gym. Um, uh, so we got plenty of room. We can. Uh, take 300-ish uh, people there. Uh, so whoever wants to come, please come. It's going to be on November 17th, which is a great day. That's my yeah. birthday. So, oh, uh, no. Hooray! So we will be in there having a great day. It's on a Thursday this year. Right, and um, we actually had, and I was thinking about this because we had, traditionally it had been just the Tuesday mm -hmm. before Thanksgiving, but do you know the last couple of years that we've done it virtually, we actually did do it on the Thursday. We did. And, uh, and I think that that that's better for a lot of different reasons yeah. because if we're praying in anticipation of the holiday season, right. a lot of people start ramping up to get ready for Thanksgiving well, you know, and, that and, weekend and before school. and with yeah. the schools being closed yeah. and uh, right. so right. so it's a little bit changed. We're so excited that it's in person this yeah. year, but it, but that date may throw somebody off if Absolutely. they're used to that Tuesday morning. It's now we saw how good it was uh, doing changing the date for the virtual. So so yeah. now that's the way it'll be. I think it's going to be great. We have uh, we, Suzanne and I were talking yesterday. We already got several people who've already confirmed to be our, our speakers. And, and we'll get all that out Our in prayers, press release yeah, and, and yeah. prayers. More and information like next that. month. Yeah, yeah. so, but it's, it's in the works. Um, you know, we'll have a breakfast for a low price. You can come, but, uh, you know, proceeds from other things will go to help some other stuff. But 
the main thing is we just want to be praying for our, our county, uh, our city, our, our state, our leaders, our kids, you know, and all those out there who just need a. Uh, uh, some encouragement. So that's, and I saw the, really great, I man. saw the list and there's a prayer for the lost. Yes. And I don't know that we've ever done that before, Brother but Chad came up with that, that. is I what it. it's all about. Yeah. yeah. I, you know, we, there's many ministries around here. I know a lot of churches work together to do different. I know there's the, the God's food pantry, the hope center. There's yeah. all, there's all kinds of ministries, Outreach and, and ministries but sure. it's all to help people. You know, there's a lot of lostness, people searching for, for, for hope. And, you know, this is a way that it all starts with prayer. Right. And so it all starts right there. And the holidays are really hard for yes. people who have maybe lost someone yes. special in their life mm -hmm. or they themselves are feeling fragmented and not yep. connected. And so uh, I'm so excited. This yeah. is the best. This is the best news. Yeah. I mean, it can't be prayer and pancakes. I mean, that's just, <laughs> oh. it's like a double P. You know? <laughs> so, so you can't beat that. So I love it. Well, thank you for stepping up. Thank you to your church for stepping up Absolutely. and making Absolutely. sure that this great community so. event happens. And we'll be praying for you as you have to, as you go spry this morning. So hopefully this, the rest of the show goes. Oh, uh, praying for a little so. spry. <laughs> we mentioned it's going to be Seven in the morning. It is going to be seven in the morning. Yeah. Uh, doors open at six thirty. Uh, food will start about seven, and then we'll we'll be done at eight promptly, so that you can get back to work and and get that prayer in to get going for the day. So, oh, yeah. thank perfect you. way to begin the holiday. Yes, as oh always. my goodness, thanks, brother thank Chad. Well, my my buddy Angel over at the county, uh, I mean over at the County Fork Electric. Yes, she says, Suzanne, will you invite all our members to the 2022 annual membership meeting? Will be it'll be Saturday, October the 15th at the yep. Warren County High School. Nice. They'll have entertainment by the Gilly Brothers. Sounds oh, pretty fun. love them. Barbecue meal will be served from 11 to 1:30. Voting for directors uh, is from 10 to 2, and they've got great door prizes. Oh. Oh, it's uh, it's always a fantastic membership meeting at the Caney Fork Electric Co-op. So yeah. we're, we're we're happy that they're able to to be in person, ra ramp that up in person this year. <laughs> so oh, Claudia Lee's here, the yeah. paper maker extraordinaire yes. from the Off the Beaten Path <laughs> Studio Tour. Oh, Jen, we're in October, so guess what? The end oh, of the month. Oh, my favorite, oh, my favorite we're thing. I know, and it's really in person, thrilled. and and can't wait for that. Yes. Um, it's been two years since we've been able to do this. This is terrific. We've been making work the whole time. So Ooh, there's more than be, ever. There's going to be a lot of great stuff. There's a few changes, a few things. Yep. Um, I, I guess the dates, first of all, is the 28th through the 30th. It's and always, that's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yes, it's always the last full weekend in October every year. And it's from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Okay. All three days. Um, we have 14 stops. 31 artists at this point. Wow. That counting. <gasps> That's fantastic. It's a, lot. it's a lot. I think I have six guests at my studio. Oh my goodness. I, and and several of them. You have to pitch a tent new. and put them out. <laughs> we thought about that actually. Um, oh, and so, that's great. And some things have switched around a little. I know one big disappointment is William Coinga's not doing it this year. Mm. Oh, okay. And it's a very popular studio. Yes. He's got lots of work. He just really can't do well, it. Well, that's a good reason not to do it. Yes. We're we're happy for that, but um, I know people are going to be disappointed. They'll probably still show up. They may. <laughs> they want to, yeah, we'll have to put a little sign out that, that says not. not <laughs> you know, like the right. yellow sign, just put a big, know, like, right. like Ghostbusters the cross across. across. Um, <laughs> and the other thing is there are, few, there are some switches in the studios. Um, stop one has changed. Um, and so it's new this year is Maggie Sincera is now stop one. And okay. so you need to just check online. Yes. Everything is on our website, yeah. which is off the beaten path tour dot com. Yeah, make sure. There's another Made me feel calm the way she said it. I know, dot com. Dot com. She said calm. Calm. She said calm. I need that. Right, yeah, yeah, dot breathe. <laughs> um, on the website, you will find all the information about all the artists. So you can actually plan where you want to go because it's not everything isn't for everyone. Right. Or you don't have time. Right. It's, you really, I have tried. Yeah. And you, it's it's a challenge to actually enjoy each stop right. and do them all in one day. Right. And I know, like, what what I usually do is I usually divide it out between uh, between the two days. Oh, that's a great idea. So that I can can I I can enjoy yeah. the you know some on one day and not right. feel 
Pressure, pushed right. to because they there there are demonstrations. There's exactly. the opportunity to talk with the with the uh, crafts people themselves yes. about what they're doing and how they do it. And, yeah. and you always run into your friends and start gabbing. I mean, that's yes. what happens. And, and there's little snacks. And there's you all know, sorts. Of there's all stuff. sorts of. So um, yeah, so you've got three days. I know. I often have people that will come and kind of look around and go visit other studios, and then they come back on Sunday and decide what they want. And yeah. so you Oh, that's have a that good idea. Yeah, except somebody might sneak, you know, what you yeah, wanted. Yeah. Yeah. Swoop in there and, and there take that, the best. Is that, yeah. <laughs> These are handmade, I, one of a kind. Right, pieces. a lot of them are. Um, family friendly, we welcome kids, it's great. Um, what else can I tell you about this? Oh, I know what else. Um, our welcome center is oh. Twisted Oak. Oh, oh I was hoping. Great, <laughs> great. Yes, they have very nicely agreed to be our welcome center this year, um, as they have in the past. And there'll be a big sign out front letting people know that. And you can go in there and get rack cards and um, ask questions and so forth. And That's this year, perfect. you know, every year we have a drawing prize. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you can, um, you can register for it at every studio. It doesn't cost anything. You just fill out a little slip. And put it, and then eventually after the tour, I come back here and we do a drawing. Oh, yeah, oh, fun. we do the drawing and in November. Year, on the, on live and you know, I stuff, and, I stuff the drawing every year, and I'm never selected. Oh, but and I've always thought how okay. appropriate it would that be box. that, like you know, like if I was doing the drawing, uh -oh. oh me. Well, I'm not I the think one that that, that would be. Them. I know, I know. <laughs> Watch this one. Uh, yeah, not that I cheat ever. I don't no. Know if you, if you put something in the box and you can't be one of the people doing the drawing. I, I know. About that. I know. So I won't draw this time. Christine and William Kawinga are. This is their. Oh, they're. That's the drawing. Oh, that is beautiful. the drawing, and you have a chance to win that. Oh, oh, oh I, I love like their work. That. I can, love their and work. And you can fill out a slip at every studio you go to. That is fine. Every member of your family can do that. Whatever you want to do, um, you're welcome to do that. Um, also, I wanted to mention that on the, a lot of people worry about it being off the beaten path, but there are really good maps. Oh yeah, and it's good signage. That. Yeah. yeah, good signage, good maps, and there is an interactive um, uh, element on the website oh, great. where you can go to an artist and click, and there will come up a map for that artist. Mm -hmm. Get directions. Well, it's a them. beautiful time of year to just be out driving in our county. I mean, so it's yeah. really neat that you you find those little locations that yeah. people can enjoy. Yes. Right during peak leaf season. Yes. One of the other new stops is um, the art studio at Jacob's Pillar. I was going to ask. Yes. Ooh. That's going to be the first time this year, and that's a new community art Jack, center. Jack, Jack and Betty Lieb have come. <gasps> um, oh. It's right across from their house yes. and their studios. And Jack is on the tour this year. Oh, His great. studio is so fun to watch, to look at. And um, he will have two artists at um, Jacob's Pillar, and so that's a great place. To so stop. this is like one of those great success stories that the church had closed. Right. It was across the street from them. I think every time they drove by the church, they thought, "Hmm, yeah, that's Art a studio. lovely space. Mm, yes. Hmm, what a lovely space. They have really and been they have it. done an amazing job of keeping some of the character of it actually right. still feeling like a little like a church. A little country." <laughs> Um, but we actually have one of their benches that came out oh, of out nice. of their sanctuary. So it's a really, oh, I mean, wonderful. it's a really been wonderful to watch them with such care turn that, you know, turn that into something that now can continue on right. and be used and, and be a wonderful space. So that's oh, neat that they're on the studio. It's great. We're excited about if that. If anyone had ever been to Jacob's Pillar Church, they should go to yes. the Off the yes. Beaten Path just to be able to yes. do like. The, the little walkthrough of, I can't yeah, wait of to the see space. It. I know. It should be great. I haven't seen it yet either, and I'm looking forward to doing that as yeah. well. So yeah, that'll yeah. be fun. Yeah. And then just one other thing is that I, I wanted to mention that I have three new artists at my studio this year that I'm very excited about. Jean Brady, who used oh, to be the fibers person. Jean! And her stuff, it, where do you see her new stuff that oh she's my gosh. doing? So great. Um, In her retirement, she has she's busier she's than she has been ever busier. <laughs> been. She's teaching all over the place. She's doing wonderful stuff, um, and she does block printing and silk screening. She's oh, really a master. Actually, yeah. all three of these artists are. The other one is Catherine Fail, who um, uh, was on the tour for a while in yeah. her studio and decided to. She's a little far out, so she's going to be at my studio this year, and she does 
really beautiful, beautiful collages, small ones. They're just gorgeous, mm -hmm. and she's, her work is really worth seeing. And Cherry Craddy, who oh, Cherry's oh, we gonna love be there. Cherry. Well, Cherry, who did huge pulp paintings of, um, you know, she was using paper pulp as paint yeah. Yeah. and making these gorgeous landscapes of this area and the lake. She's now doing miniatures that are smaller than a business card. Oh my gosh! They're with paint, and there you could walk right into them. They are spectacular. Yeah. Imagine. <gasps> and so she's going to have oh my gosh. a few of the big pieces that she still has, but she's not doing those anymore. Oh, and she's oh I better a, snag one because I've always you thought. If you have ever wanted mm, one I of may, her pieces, I may need to be reaching out to Cherry and saying, don't sell that one. This is the moment. <laughs> this is the moment. Feel free to call her because yeah. she's got some. I'm, she's, I'm sure she's not bringing she all She is the sweetest them. person, too. Yeah. She's, like she's adorable, yeah. and her work is really draw dropping it's yeah. just amazing yeah. so it's worth coming just to see what these so three original women are doing. great oh, yeah. so. oh that's so exciting oh well so. i tell you i'm ready to go are you well i mean it did we have in our community i think the third largest number of artists i don't know if that's still true but behind know. behind uh, Franklin, <clears throat> Gatlinburg, and or so you know Sevier County. We are number three for the number of well, artists that's a who pretty make big this thing our to home. Say. And so that to is. have off the beaten path right. to highlight. I mean, what kind of opportunity is this right. that you can go and actually and walk into fun. their studios and see where the creativity right. happens? Right, and it's it's a great opportunity to see the work to shop. You don't need to shop. We welcome you. We're happy for you to just come visit the studios. Um, so don't feel shy about that. But do bring um, some, do bring nice. bring yeah. your Christmas list because if you have a one of a kind person to shop for, you will find, you will find the thing to, to for Christmas shopping. Christmas yeah. shopping. Yeah. Oh my soon. goodness. <laughs> Thanks Claudia. Thanks Thank Claudia. You. Hey, let me do a quick congratulations yes. before we go to our next fabulous guest. You know, because we've got several things that's been worth celebrating Amazing lately. Amazing stuff, yes. I, wanted, I got, a, I got a, a call from the University of Tennessee to say, be sure and check out our website because the Fouch industry was recently highlighted mm -hmm. as the University of Tennessee's <clears throat> uh, Center for Industrial Services Manufacturer of the Week. Woohoo! This is a great honor, and of course they they do um, <clears throat> amazing work there uh, at, at Fouch Industry, and it just keeps growing and growing. So it's no wonder that they're getting recognized yeah. by the Industrial Services Center at UT. Well, you know, if you go to that little side road there about Fouch's, where yeah. do you end up? Mm -hmm. Yeah, end up at the dog park. Oh, well, we have somebody from the Camp Animal Shelter. Uh, John Hillard, did I say that right? You certainly did. Oh, hey, John. Normally people yeah, put an Martin. I in the, in the second well, part. Well, you it, know, really don't good. accuse me Hillard, of that. You got it. Hillard. <laughs> Hillard, you got I like it. it. <laughs> so we love what the, what the Cab Animal Shelter is doing and what the coalition is doing. So Absolutely. tell us tell us what's happening. Well, this is, I mean, it's a pretty exciting time. Um, coming into the fall and the Halloween, we're putting a... Uh, a little fantastic show together mm. called Night of Haunted Tales. Oh, and, uh, see, they're so I good. Know, they're so cute. All their events are. Yeah. T A I L S. That sounds furbulous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, furbulous. Yeah, all right. Furbulous is yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, and it's all for humor. the animals, of yeah. course. Our, our um, dogs and cats that are, are in need. So we want to bring the public in, uh, give them a really good night of enjoyment and fun for the family, mm, and great. raise some money to help our, our uh, pups and cats. So it's not at the shelter, though? No, it's not. No, it's actually going to be at the Mike Foster Theater over in the community yeah. center. And the uh, that weekend of the 20th? 21st and, uh -huh. and 22nd, 22nd right, right. Friday and Saturday, October. Isn't that going to be fun? Yeah. It's an original live show. Oh. Ah. Uh, written by me and it's going to be a lot of fun uh, we've got some of the actors volunteering from Tennessee will there be Tech. dog oh. actors there may be oh, oh show up. Yeah. There there <laughs> maybe. Yeah. oh well, the great. doors are going to open at six but showtime is at is from seven to eight p.m. seven p.m. to eight p.m. is showtime yeah but uh, you know the ticket prices yes so adults are fifteen dollars okay. and five dollars for all the little uh, ghosts and goblins awesome um, and we, we encourage everyone to dress up, dress up all the kids and, and bring them in because yeah. it's a fun, interactive show. 
and uh, it should be a lot of fun with a few little fun. scares and spooks in there. So John, let's talk about this 2023 pet calendar. Yes, um, so that is the shelter putting together. Okay. Right, they're, yeah. they're working hard at that. They're, they're doesn't doing... that sound fun, Jen? You'll mm -hmm. buy one of those, mm -hmm. I feel sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, and I think it's, it's gonna raise a lot of awareness and, and um, some funds for the shelter, you know. Which and it's twenty five dollars. Uh, yes, that's correct. And uh, and that goes to the spay and neuter program, or do you know if it's specifically dog ear marked? Uh, uh, I think it is. Oh, now that was actually pretty good. Okay. I think okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I gotta gotta say, I enjoyed <laughs> sitting here pre when uh -huh. you were interviewing your yeah. your uh, first guest, <laughs> and just being a fly on the wall. <laughs> It was a lot of uh, fun. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad it was for one person. Well, that is amazing. <laughs> yeah. And, um, but it is. It, it's going toward the spay and neuter program. And again, raising awareness in the community to try and bring awareness about, try and really, because we have such an overpopulation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And there's a lot of people who are in need and hurting right now with the economy kind yep. of taking the changes. So, we want to help out as much as possible and you know they need help with their pets and taking care of them getting the proper medical care and uh, you know the and shelter's doing a fantastic job oh they are and be sure and check out facebook they have an album there of all the adoptable pets and dogs are eighty dollars Cats are forty dollars, and I know my son, son would say that's a bargain because I I bet he paid a thousand dollars for his dog. So yeah. animals are necessary. Well, and and part of the reason that there is a charge, part of it is um, because that's taking uh, taking the care of those animals into account when when you're paying it you're actually paying it forward in a way that, that that that's helping the shelter to have more funds to be able to care for m more animals and also you're uh, you're helping to support whatever outreach and all of these other programs that that the shelter is doing because it's great work it's, it's great valuable work valuable work community. and uh, and there are actually lots of volunteers so even yes. though you see the face of the of the workers you know you you, you see the people who work there, there are so many volunteers out and about who are who are making all this happen. Absolutely, and you know, I run uh, Loyal Dog Rescue and Rehabilitation um, out of Liberty, uh, still in DeKalb County, and we've joined forces together. So you're exactly right that when a dog is dropped off to the shelter or is taken in off the streets and brought in, um, there is so much time and effort that goes into mm -hmm. helping that dog or cat psychologically to rebound because every dog even if it came from a very loving home or cat um, it's going through a major transition in its life yeah. it's very shocking and then to end up in a beautiful environment like the decab shelter is it's still in shock and it has to be cared for and loved and fed and then all the vet care that comes along right. with it also right. going back to why there is a a, a, not, a a fee and the fee is actually quite low quite low yeah yeah to the yeah. money that goes the, into the last each. rescue we paid 260 dollars for yeah so <laughs> and that's and and still that's not i guarantee you coming close to covering the cost right. of what's yeah. going into right. helping that that animal well, well, we are so grateful. Labor I mean, of love. Oh, you do. I, yes. You know, for sure. And yes. Thank those you. sweet pets. And we're excited about seeing the show, A Night of Haunted Tales Ooh, at yes. DeKalb, uh, DeKalb County Complex, October 21st and 22nd. Yes. Can they buy great. tickets in advance or you just buy them at the door? You can buy tickets in advance. Um, you can get them through the shelter's okay. uh, website yep. um, off of Facebook. Uh, you can go to Loyal Dog Rescue also, and Facebook, Instagram, uh, and then you can purchase at the door also. Great. And, and I would recommend getting there a little bit on time, yeah. early, yeah. 6 yeah. o'clock when the doors open, because we're going to have quite a crowd both nights. I, I have a really good feeling about oh. that. And, so you know, can you bring your pet? Getting see so I'm not sure about <laughs> yeah. that inside the theater. We'll have to call James actually, James it would be theater. wonderful. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. We'll have to call you, can, you can let us know. Put that on Facebook. <laughs> it, you know. Because some, you, some little lap dogs, you know, they might really like the show too. I know, and we can incorporate them into the show. <laughs> yeah. John, thank you so much. Thank this you is so great. much for having me. Thank great you, John. Appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, and I'm keeping my grand dog this week. Oh, 
downtown. Oh, yes, yes, yeah. yes. Oh, my goodness. And he was a little, you know, sad the first couple of days. Now he is just a big, happy puppy. Ew, yeah, good. Yeah. It does take some adjustment. Yeah, it takes a little adjustment. Yep, yep. Well, I want to remind everybody that Shop Late Local is in downtown Smithfield. The first Thursday, they're open till 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. Now, this Thursday, October the 6th, Stace, Ace's Steakhouse. Ace's, Ace's Steakhouse. Yeah, I almost you got said it. that backwards you or something. Almost, uh, they're, they said they're going to be house. open with a limited <laughs> menu, but let me tell you, this limited menu oh my gosh. had salmon, I cannot two pounds of wait. steak. I cannot wait for the whole menu. Lasagna, of this chicken, is limited. pork loin. I mean, uh, that's the limited menu. Right. It's crazy, Bill. Uh, I'm like, wow, if that's limited, I, 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 would, I, I can't imagine the full one. So open from 5 to 9. Yes, So um, until the food runs out of her. We are, yeah, which, yeah. you know. Could happen. Who knows, could yeah. happen. But uh, we would hope it would happen. We, think we would that hope that would it would great. happen. Um, and uh, we also want to say a little shout out. Uh, Ace is actually closing Clover Leaf. Yes. And same same owner in Liberty um, to make way for Ace's Steakhouse. So we we hope everyone who enjoyed Clover Leaf now um, still still finds Ace at the Steakhouse. But me personally, I'm so excited. We have seen the inside of it, and it looks like you're walking into Italy. Yeah, I mean I these beautiful murals. Just it is. It's going to be a fantastic place downtown local do not go out of town for a steak you've got to go to aces oh definitely do not think you've got to go somewhere else this is the place so anyway so and go shopping all these great places downtown it's a great time to start yep. getting your christmas presents yep. before things been picked over or whatever so anyway Check them out. And then the Pumpkin Festival we got coming up Saturday, October the 22nd from 9 to 4 in downtown Smithfield. It's the third one, I think, this year. I went the last couple of years. Great event, great attendance, a lot of crafters there, a lot of fun things to do. So uh, it's free admission, free parking. It's just the only thing you spend is whatever you want to buy and food and, uh, you know, the yep. Yep, the wares there. You so might, the wares you might find, there. You, you might find a cute, cute little Halloween decoration, or oh, they got pumpkins for sale. Yep, yeah, all yeah. kinds it's, of great things. So anyway, so check them out. Oh, and new this year, you know those downtown Smithville people, they're just they're, they're going to have a carved pumpkin contest that day. Oh right. I tell you, they keep coming up with it. I, it's so many fun things. So anyway, I look forward to being there Saturday, October the twenty second on the downtown square, and then okay, Jen. Did you see where I penciled in something? Mm -hmm. I found this. I have to go looking sometimes because people forget to tell me. Yep. But the Friday at the fair. Yes, downtown Alexandria, down in Alexandria uh -huh, at, at the, the fairgrounds. That's right. Saturday, October the 29th. You can go trick-or-treating from 5 to 8 p.m. Right there on the fairgrounds. And, it, it, I mean, in years past, fun. it has been so much fun to see their decorations. They've got very creative, a very dynamic group of folks who are volunteering to put this on. So that's October 29th, uh, 5 to 8 p.m. And Ch Chief Collins uh, couldn't be here this morning, and Beth... Beth Edcock, the ones who really do all the work on the boobash, or most of the work anyway, and they said to talk about it this morning for them. I said, yep. Jean and I will take care of it yes. because we've been there every year. We love it. Uh, but it's going to be on Halloween Day, Monday, October 31st from 12 to 5, and we just thank you to all the organizers who work so hard to make this such a fun event. Everything will be open. The library, city hall, courthouse, county complex, local businesses all over the place. And we have a lot of them. Oh, lots and lots of them. If you haven't been downtown lately, you have got to see all these fantastic new shops oh my and businesses that we are got in. another two new ones on uh, Walnut. It's yeah. just amazing. So, but don't forget to come to the county complex. It's just uh, all over town. There's different businesses is open. If, you, if you missed the um, city uh, police department open house and you're curious about, mm. you know, that new fabulous building, it's fabulous. Th you know, this is your chance to poke around. Yeah. See uh, when you're not in trouble, when, you know, you're <laughs> relaxed and you don't have to worry about yeah. bail. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hopefully that's most Boy, of us. you are really... <laughs> I'll tell you, <laughs> they're pointing Dwayne, us in there. Dwayne's like, okay, where's the where's the hook and cane? So anyway, uh, you will end up with more sweet trees than you actually probably need by the end of the day. It is day. rain or shine, though, so just keep that in mind. That, yeah, it, it that, is. That it is that Monday. It's from 12 to 5. Everybody can dress up. You don't have to dress up. It's just a fun place to be to get lots of delicious sweet treats yes. and to come and go in all the businesses. And since I 
I don't have all the details this morning. Be sure and check out Smith Review and WJLE's website to keep up with all the places that everybody's going to be. And then, of course, the Chamber will be sponsoring the best costume contest for the businesses. <laughs> now, we're not doing it for the children. Last year, we had somebody actually sponsor it for the children, and I'm sure they'll have that this year. Right. But I didn't have the information yet. Yep. So all you have to do, if your business want to be in the contest, you just take a picture with your phone and send it to my phone, 615-464-7760, mm -hmm. by 1 p.m. on October 31st, and we'll have first, second, third place. You'll get a certificate. Yes. As Beth used to say, certificate. <laughs> you will get a media recognition and bragging rights. And bra which is particularly important in our community. And honestly, the contest <laughs> is so, I mean, everybody goes above board. To, right, it, right. I mean, it's, but it's hard to choose. We, it, we're not trying to set the, the bar too high for people to be like, oh, I can't compete. Yeah, go ahead and try but, it. But, you know, yeah. we want everyone to be festive, and it, it is a lot of fun. And I'll quickly say this, this is fast, and uh, Brad Halfacre is here waiting to tell us about the Edgar River State Park we're stuff. We're excited for it. Uh, about the Canoe the Caney Haunted Canoe Trip and Ghost Tour. Yeah, it's, it's going on up. now. Bring your friends and climb aboard for a spine-tingling after dark historic, or hysteric, maybe. Uh, <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, see? I know, it's I'm catching. Off. Uh, it's a ghost tour, so for package and options and details, give them a call or go to their website at canoethecaney.com. Yes. Okie dokie. Brad Hefaker, what you got Welcome. this morning from Ed Griffin State Park? Well, good morning, good morning. Good well, morning. It, beautiful day out today, wonderful drive in. I noticed as we're driving over here, you know, some colors. Oh, so starting like, to come. You know, Already mother, changing. You know, yeah. Mother Nature's fixing to put on her, her makeup for everybody yeah. to see, you know. And so, <laughs> not a, not a, there's not a more beautiful place to enjoy some fall colors, you know, than Ed Griffin State Park. Absolutely, you know, that's got, right. You know, we've got our cabins that have been newly remodeled. Uh, you know, if you're looking for a good weekend getaway, you know, Ed Gravens is just right down the road. Hey, my Can't... 50th anniversary is coming up. That's hey, right. That's right. staycation. Yeah, got, I love it. We've got our campground. Camping weather is perfect. You know, not too hot. You know, just a, just right. You know, to cuddle up in a tent. You know, oh, you got a campfire. You, you can, a reason to have a campfire. That's right. It's it's hard when it's 90 degrees in the summer, right. but it's you know, perfect weather for yep. a campfire. Yep. So you know, camping season's here. You know, so you know, come on out and see us. If you haven't stayed with us in a while, we'd love to have you. You know, campground is it is a little busy on the weekends. You know, because of the cooler weather, but we've got a lot going on. Uh, on October 15th and 16th, we're having our Harvest Craft Festival. This year, uh, we're hosting a craft festival at, craft festival at Boat Ramp 1. Um, it's going to be containing crafters and artisans, kids' activities, uh, photo op display. So, you know, you come on out and uh, enjoy that. It's free to, free to the public. Um, we, have, we have a way to register for the event. Just get on our web, website. You can register that. We're offering boat rides during that time. Now, the boat rides will be a minimal cost so we've got them like going out every 30 or 45 minutes there kind of like we did for the celebration of spring mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we'll also be having i think the boat rides are on the hour they, and they I last about they 45 are. minutes so wow. uh, and and they fill up so i would recommend folks if you if you're coming out you might want to plan accordingly and they get your reservation for the boat ride yes and they're on the website here and on, it's on easy easy to make it but don't dates. you know it's it's just 12 people on the boat so it, you know Space plan ahead it's very limited yeah but uh we we have them on the website for both days but also on the website we've got you know besides that we've got on october 8th before coming starting this weekend which he's it's already sold out but something that he if being that he had such a good turnout for it it's a beginning it's a birding birding tour uh so he's mark taylor and holly they're doing like some b workshops for beginning birders so he had so much uh it sold out so quickly is something that's going to be upcoming yeah. so i was just very thrilled to see how quickly this sold out uh, so a beginner's workshop so that's that's something that that we're going to be look look forward to that again uh as you you know on, on our website again uh after the harvest festival we also have our um on the 22nd is halloween in the campground let me get down here to it uh, again that's a that's something fun for all ages the 
guests or campers will be decorating their campsites. We have people go all out for this. Oh man, no kidding. It's it's something. It's lots of fun. See, and and we're going to get prizes for the best. Uh, Best decorated campsite. So uh, I believe first first place winner will receive three free nights of camping. Second place will receive two free nights of camping. So it's something worthwhile. So come on out if you if you want to camp with us and decorate. Try to get your campsite again. That's that's October twenty second. We'll be hosting campers. Will be asked to give out candy for trunk or treaters, and the park will be giving out candy as well. That's October twenty second from five thirty to eight thirty p.m. Um, and then after that, we've got some fall color cruises with lunch at El Lago restaurant. So that's coming up October 23rd uh, and also October, let's back up October 19th. So we'll be doing some fall color cruises. Those fill up quick. So everything you need to know is on our website and on our app. So you can download the app at tnstateparks.tnstateparks from your app store or Android device. Totally free. Check us out there on the on the web. So and also friends group, you know, a great way to give back to the community to, and to the park by joining our friends group. We we love having we love having friends, and it's a, it's a great <laughs> and some, way to And volunteer. sometimes you can volunteer to be somebody else's friend. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and we and we got great ways. You know, you to, to join. You can be a, a, a volunteer member and help volunteer and doing some work, or you can pay a membership and do that as well so well you know if you if you're retired and you're like I'm a little bored but I don't want to like go to work again or anything that would be a great thing to do go volunteer at this yeah. beautiful beautiful state park and there's yeah. uh, there are always always projects going on always fantastic improvements that that Brad and the Rangers are working on and uh, and there's always opportunity we, we see all the things that that you know the next thing and the next thing and the next thing there's always uh, always uh, welcome. We just, Volunteers are always welcome. We just got out on the trail yet uh, two days ago, so I mean, it's a much needed trail work. And yeah. Alex, one of my workers, Alex Daniels and Justin and Lee, got out with some guys and, some, and couldn't thank them enough. So. Oh. So just get out and enjoy the great weather and the fine That's the right. fine things Come at the park. That's okay, right. you can help us close out All here right. again. Okay, <laughs> but I got three more congratulations. Oh, Jim. good. Oh, so many good things yeah, happening. So many good. The DeKalb West School for earning the distinction of being a reward school for high levels of performance Yay, improvement. Yay, DeKalb West, hooray! Woo. And then the DeKalb County Fighting Tiger, Tiger Band is heading to the state championship. Amazing. They're top one 20, of 25. Top 25 in the state. Top bands wow. across the state, yeah. And they're selected to, to perform at the 41st Annual Tennessee Division II State Marching Band Championship on November 5th. Oh, my goodness. I we are so proud of that. them. We're so excited and, and hope, hope they just keep in step and toot away. <laughs> You're killing me I today. said it. I said me. it. Okay, uh, and then one more thing. Uh, the DeKalb County Senior Center here has been showing off, Jen. They didn't just win gold. They won silver. They won bronze. They won the whole caboodle at the the chair volleyball tournament there at the, um, let's see what it was. It was the 2022 Senior Olympics held in Cumberland, Cumberland County. County. Yep. I mean, th that 60 and older group, they went undefeated in 13 games of competition. So we have amazing people in all age groups, children, high schoolers, and seniors. I went and crashed one of the chair volleyball days, and it was so much fun. Yeah. It's funner than it is. It is fun. Oh, my you, goodness. You think, you think, oh, chair, what does that mean? But, uh, yeah, yeah, it can be. You just sit out and you hit the. Yeah, it's awesome. Oh, it's so fun. Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, apparently we got some competitors on there because they won silver, gold, and bronze. Our gold, silver, and bronze. Mm -hmm. So anyway. So this week mm -hmm. is a public nat natural gas utility oh, let's week. let's hear about it. And uh, I just want to say a shout out from Middle Tennessee Natural Gas to all of our customers, everyone who uh, supports Project Hometown Help yeah. in their bill for us to be able to turn that around and uh, give back to our communities. There, uh, there are lots of benefits to having a public utility and uh, 
uh, as we come into uh, heating season and we all are looking at what our budgets are going to be, just know that it's a huge benefit to have a public utility. We get to set those rates at a local level with our customers in mind. And so if you see a public utility worker uh, for Middle Tennessee Natural Gas, please give them a shout out and say thank you and for keeping for keeping us comfy and cozy all winter long. Oh, and so we're down to zero, Jen, they yes. just said. Yep. <laughs> we appreciate y'all listening and viewing audiences and hope you hope to catch you. <laughs> Tune in next time, next month, same chat time. Same chat channel. Happy fall, y'all. Yeah. <laughs>